<laughs> the AI on broomsticks is amazing. Today in Ravenfield, I wanna ask one big question. What if you used magic like, say, from Harry Potter, where you've got wands and wizardry and magical spells versus the United States military or a modern military? Who would win? On top of that, a little bit later, we're going to be showing a magical boss fight. And this magical boss, he can summon unlimited enemies. And we're gonna have to defeat, <laughs> you guessed it, all of them. And a big shout out and thank you to Warner Brothers Games for sponsoring this video. Now before we check out the boss battle, let's see the modern military's base. They've got a number of aircraft hangars with heavy bombers, pretty good attack aircraft with multiple rocket launchers, machine guns, and they've got this top secret military base that's armed with tanks, quad bikes, transport helicopters, and even rather incredibly powerful attack helicopters. Now, if you go to the Magical Forces base, they only have broomsticks, which, I mean, they don't look nearly as powerful as the Air Force that the modern military could muster, and they've got magical looking staffs and wands. So this looks, at first glance, like we know who's gonna win. I'm gonna be joining the blue magical forces spawning at the airfield and my weapon selection, I could either use a blessed submachine gun, which sounds curious, a sorcerer's staff, and then I've got two wands, crystal or fire. I'm gonna start with crystal and I even have an infernal anti-tank rifle in case I run into enemy tanks. Now, as curious as I am about these wands, I want to see a broom and there's even different types of brooms. Look at, look at the entire, you guys aren't going to die, are you, right? Nope. Are you going to do fine? Look at them, they're like, hey dad, we're just going to go out there and do some magic tricks against the US military. That might be against the Geneva Convention. All right, uh, yeah, I don't know if magic is, no! Oh, okay, this works exactly how <laughs> we, we planned it to. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, there's the enemy aircraft. I've got my gunner, <clears throat> gunner in loose quotations. Oh wow, my maneuverability is unparalleled by the way. <laughs> Did you see my speed too? Uh, I just rammed a bomber and I'm fine. Okay, the broomsticks are absolutely incredible. I mean, this is magical. So speaking of magic, have you ever wanted to take the wizarding world with you on the go? Well, I teamed up with Warner Brothers to showcase the new Harry Potter Magic Awakened collectible card MMORPG game that was globally released June 27th. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so I've been playing it a fair bit. So click the link in my description box and download Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Now the vast wizarding world is filled with exploration, an immersive story campaign, potion making, playing things like Quidditch, and even dueling with magic wands. So naturally the game has it all. Now personally my favorite is dueling, and I started off by creating my wizard, that's me. I got my wand from Ollivanders, headed to Hogwarts and picked my favorite house, which <laughs> naturally is Slytherin. Now right away you experience Harry Potter lore like fighting the troll in the bathroom and talk to famous wizards from the Harry Potter universe. So what are you waiting for? Dive into the Harry Potter universe right now by using my link in the video description below, and there's one in the pinned comment too, to experience the vast wizarding world. Thank you to Harry Potter Magic Awakened for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the magic. I really feel like Harry Potter in Operation Desert Storm right here, and it's pretty incredible. This is what I've always wanted to do in video games. Just stack two armies that should never be fighting up against each other just to see what's gonna happen. What is that? Oh, that's his wand. That was really freaky. I thought like Baradur was collapsing on us. All right, I've got, ooh, my, oh, that's a good one. We're in slow motion. Do you see how fast these things fire? All right, I've got 10 shots, 10 opportunities. Now I can pretty much, Oh, I disabled the blackbird by ramming it. I mean, I guess I'm enchanted. <laughs> this is some of the most fun I've ever had in this game. I just destroyed that thing immediately. I mean, it took me a few shots, but magic is maybe overpowered. Now, just look at all of my infantry units. Look at them just cascading their magic. So we've done a live test of the brooms. 
and they're deceptive. They look stupid or simple. I mean, it's cool for a broomstick, but compared to an F-22 fighter or a turboprop ground attack aircraft, it doesn't look as cool. Let's try out some of these magic things. All right, so here's my wand. It, it looks amazing. Lord Aloha really did some work. And, oh, oh, oh my goodness. What? It's exploding crystals. I love the flare. This guy has some serious style with his wands. Leviosa. Look in the bottom left. I can switch the attack mode on this. The Gout of Flame, the Wave of Force, Healing Aura. All right, let's try the Gout of Flame. Oh, yes. All right, Wave of Force. Oh. <laughs> I think I need to be near enemies or I die. Magic has a cost. And then the Healing Aura. Uh -huh. Now there's also the Wand of Fire, and I've heard it's incredibly powerful. So we'll save that. We also have this, which is a 100 millimeter Titus anti-tank rifle. We need a vehicle to test this on, and I'm gonna have to broom over there to get there. Let's see how this does. <laughs> that is insane. It just, it's like fire magic in an anti-tank rifle. Imagine if they had this in World War II. Now this is a World War II era weapon, but I guess magic is even older than that. So modern military seems to be doing okay. That tank is still alive. Let's try one more. Yeah, this thing is not strong enough. What about the gout of flame? That just seems better. It's still alive. I just wave forced it. Our only vehicles are broomsticks. This one, <laughs> he just, you can't take them, man. That's mine. <laughs> Oh, please, please don't hit the rock. <laughs> this one's got a cauldron under it. Is that a heavy bomber? I can drop cauldrons. Now, I can't really see them. I killed somebody with them. Oh, I think they shoot ahead of me. I thought they were bombs. The enemy's gonna have a distinct advantage in vehicle power. And I think that's being reflected right now on the scoreboard. But look at the frost wands destroying that helicopter. Look, the enemies are spilling out of it right now. I'm hoping we defeated all of them. I need to kill that guy over there and take this flag. Leviosa! <laughs> Am I the best wizard ever? Absolutely not. Am I having the most fun of all wizards ever? Yes. We need to make a battle plan because this isn't working. Everybody converge on that while defending that point. We are 20 or more. We're 30 behind the enemy. That is not good. We've lost an entire battalion? Wait a minute, magic is supposed to be better. Pew, pew. You gotta make your own sound effects sometimes. Oh, fire muffins. I wonder if we could take a flag behind enemy lines. That's the problem with the broomsticks is we don't have a lot of troops, but there's no one protecting this one. All right, let's try this. Can we take this and hold it? Magic is causing my frames to absolutely drop, but me and my buddy here have taken this flag by ourselves. That should definitely help this plan out. We want to defend this one. All right, buddy, come with me. I just got hit with something. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's the fire wand. We need to try that out. And I'm going to spawn here because they're sending vehicles and I want to fight them. Fire wand. Oh, I just spawned in a magma wave. They're trying to run through it with their vehicle and it is not working. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazingly powerful. I haven't killed them yet, but they definitely do not have a very good chance of winning here. No, I guess I have killed them. I don't think I got the notifications. Okay, fire wand, insane. The AI. Teammates of mine should not be allowed to use this. No wonder we have more losses than the modern military. <laughs> oh man, is this what Voldemort would have felt like if he invaded the world of man? Well, like, I mean, I guess the muggle world. There's so much magic going on arbitrarily. I don't think the AI knows how to use it. We've got a bunch of muggles armed with wands, everybody. Now this is gonna be fun. I'm going into slow mode just because I want to see what the wave of force does. And I don't wanna have more time to be able to talk about it because, excuse me, sir, have you met my friend Matt? Look at this guy getting air. Wave of force. <laughs> I broke his, I broke every bone in that man's body. And then the vehicle ran him over. 
insult to injury. There goes Dragast. Well, magical respawn abilities means I can come back from the dead. All right, I've got the Gout of Flame. Let's do a little Gout of Flame at distance. Distract the enemy with, ah, that's gonna burn me. And then we move in with a wave of force. Oh, I'm burning somebody. Oh my God, that was so powerful. <laughs> Bullets are still powerful. Now, if you look at the score, it does seem magic is absolutely getting its butt kicked. And I need to try out the blessed submachine gun. Yeah, that seems like a pretty classic submachine gun. Oh my gosh. I love how my bullets aren't called bullets. They're nine by 18 millimeter sorlionets. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's magical sounding. Okay, these are really powerful. I think it's clear to see by the score that we lost this. Let's try something a little bit different. Before we do the boss challenge against <clears throat> the Necromancer, we're gonna switch up what weapons my team can use. Whoa, where's the brooms? <gasps> I don't know how I got this broom. I definitely didn't <laughs> steal it. <laughs> the brooms is the best part of this entire mod. Hey, we've taken this. And we've taken the other one. We need to update our battle plan. Woo! Uh-oh. This is amazing. Oh, gosh. Those are tanks. I have the magical ability of slow motion and you can't stop me. How does fire do against tanks? We'll use the holy anti-tank rifle. Please don't kill me. Evil muggles. They're trying to wipe us out. We need Hogwarts as a map. Dang, this needs to be upped in power, I think. Goodbye, broom flying upside down. Oh, hold on. Yeah, at least it kills mongooses. The enemy is beating us. I think right now with the technology and abilities of my AI brethren to use magic is a little bit low. Now it's time to do the boss battle and the balance of power is all zombies. And making it so we have 120 enemy zombies to fight. Now all I know is my modding team told me to hold on to my Tukus and be prepared for a freaky map. Oh, that's creepy. Oh no. Uh, I've got a little motorcycle here in my wand. We're just gonna casually drive up to this creepy castle and see what's inside. Um, is anybody home? Oh god. Yeah, there's people home. Oh yeah, those are zombies for sure. That's a lot of zombies. Zombies! Come here. Uh-oh, they've seen me. All right, uh, I don't want it. Please, please stop. This is not good. Leviosa! Just putting some flair on these guys. Uh, I keep worrying that like there's gonna be zombies behind me <gasps> they're on a conga line of death that was a pretty good counterattack by them i don't know if they have some form of gestalt consciousness and there's an overmind controlling them but they all tactfully engaged me local superiority all at once use the high ground obi-wan oh the wave force is amazing yeah i thought there was gonna be some guys around this corner Flames may not be the best for close range combat. Yikes. Because I think I can walk in them and get hurt. Oh, there's a flag here. Just lit up a table. I know I'm supposed to take this flag point from the enemy and then something <clears throat> magical should happen. We've captured the castle. Oh yeah, there's more stairs going up. There's a lot of interesting things, but the mysterious tower has this. Oh, uh, that's creepy. It's got little faces on it to help you drink it, I guess, which is nice, but that is creepy. So if we pick it up. Oh, your insolence brings you before me. Did you hear that? Oh God, he's shooting big balls at me. I don't want to get hit by big balls. I don't want to get hit by big balls. All right, ooh, ooh, we got a wave of force ready. Huh? yes. No! Maybe what we need to do is use the fire wand. This thing is really good and should get me to the necromancer relatively easily. He sounds sort of like Palpatine. Oh God, what's this? Oh, this is nice. Now you can't hit me with your power balls. Where does that go? Am I supposed to know about this? I don't know, but I'm gonna take full advantage of it. All right, necromancer 
These tunnels remind me of the old Wolfenstein games in Doom. Where's the Duke Nukem? Get burdenated! The healing ore doesn't heal me, unfortunately. Uh oh, they found me. I'm gonna have to go out there and fight this guy. Wait a minute, I did heal myself with the healing aura. I'm definitely not a muggle. I do not like his magical abilities. Yes! I got him! <laughs> this has to be one of the absolute coolest mods we've ever done. We tried to fight a modern military using only magical vehicles, <clears throat> broomsticks, which are amazing, and magical spells and wands, and I think the reason why we're not run by an overlord of magical ministers is, well, we've got vehicles. And then we fought the evil necromancer boss in a legendary boss fight in the castle. So I want to say a big shout out and thank you to Harry Potter Magic Awakened. And remember that you can get the game for yourself using the link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.